My name is Sam Jintel, and I'm the training and consulting advocate for Cuberis. I've been with Cuberis for a little over five years, and with me today, I have Mr. Brian Hicks. Cuberis provides professional training services delivered via our live virtual platform, on-site training where we can come to your location, as well as public training delivered primarily at our conferences. We create courses that are accredited by the ASTQB, IC Agile, and ISTQB. So Brian, as he mentioned, is our senior consultant and instructor, and he's going to provide a little insight as to the courses he teaches uh, and those certification bodies as well. Basically, I, the way I look at it, we deliver two different types of, of certified courses at Coveros. The first type are courses that we create, so we own all of the content. And then we get that content accredited by appropriate certification bodies, such as, like you mentioned, ISTQB, ASTQB, IC Agile. And the second type of certification courses is a material that we license from, from third parties. And these include courses from places like Scaled Agile, which allows us to teach the Scaled Agile framework to, uh, to students. For me personally, I was uh, actively involved basically from the beginning to the end in developing the content and getting our mobile application testing course certified and accredited by the ASTQB. Uh, I also worked closely with IC Agile to get our Foundations of DevOps course accredited for live virtual delivery, as there's a sort of separate accreditation process that IC Agile requires for you know, live virtual versus in-person delivery. And then finally, I'm also a certified Scaled Agile Safe Program Consultant so I do lead and uh, deliver our licensed safe certification courses. Every course has a specific set of learning objectives and an official syllabus that's provided by the certification authority, either IC Agile or ASTQB. And that syllabus has specific uh, learning objectives that must be covered by the training material. So, we have to supply that accreditation board with our training content, along with a spreadsheet or a matrix of some kind that maps that content to the learning objectives. And in some cases, those learning objectives specify that we have to create you know, hands-on exercises or you know, interactive, uh, interactive exercises for the students to accompany the learning objective. So we have to demonstrate that we have an appropriate exercise in those cases. Then we usually work with the certification authority to demonstrate delivery of parts of the course. We may have like, you know, a, a Skype call like this or something like that where we, where we actually demonstrate that we can deliver the course and gives them the opportunity to ask us questions about it. And we also might submit that content for review by outside reviewers that will also validate it against the learning objectives and provide their own comments. And then there's usually a, a bit of a back and forth where, you know, we address comments, make a couple of changes to the course, Really, it's a it's kind of a collaborative effort because you know the ASTQB, IC Agile, these uh, certification bodies are invested in getting content providers like Coveros to get their courses accredited. So they work with us pretty closely. So it's a it's a it's a real like I said a real collaborative process. Sounds good. And so sounds a bit of a complex, but well worth it in the end. Absolutely, absolutely. So I mentioned this earlier, we do offer training via our live virtual platform. So I wanted to touch base on this a little bit. How are you, how are you able to overcome the challenges with the virtual platform and ensuring that the engagement is there with those certification courses? Yeah, that's, that's a really great, great question, Sam. So the, the, yeah, the live virtual does really provide a, a kind of a challenge in terms of engaging the students. It's really it's a lot easier to engage with students when you're in person and you can make you know you make eye contact with them and and you know actually walk around the room a little bit. But for the live virtual classes, there's a couple of different um, different techniques that I personally use. First, uh, a platform that we use to actually deliver the training gives you the opportunity to uh, deliver polls and questions and interactive questions to the students that allows them to you know gets them involved, right? That forces them to you know, type on their type on their computer, actually answer answer a question or something like that. 
Um, you know, we also use the chat windows and the chat uh, uh, part of the application extensively. That's usually how we do communication. So I'm constantly monitoring that chat and allowing the students to ask me questions there. Um, I'll also use screen sharing to demonstrate particular tools. You know, we were talking about the mobile application testing course previously. And in that course, we do a lot of demonstration of tools that allow you to test mobile applications on different types of devices. So I'll often share my screen and walk the students through how they how to use it. And you know, as an accompaniment to that course in particular, we give the students the instructions on how to download and install uh, the tools themselves. So it gives them the opportunity to, to, to follow along. So as we're talking about certifications, what would you say are the top three benefits for acquiring a certification for an individual and or a team as well? Awesome. Yeah, that's another that's another great question. Um, you know, certification is is an important part of, of any of any, any individual's you know, journey in their in their career. And the first benefit that I that I think of is is the fact that any course, especially the courses delivered by Coveros, are that are accredited and for certification are vetted by you know outside content authorities or uh, authorities in the subject matter industry experts. So you can trust that the material is valid and is appropriate for the industry and for your for your work. So it's it, it'll be good material, right? It's not just it's not just somebody decided to create some, you know, to create some training course. You know, it's got some um, some intellectual uh, heft behind it, right? So, second, having that certification indicates that you've got uh, a base level of knowledge, or you've obtained a certain level of knowledge, and you're actively invested in learning and, and education. And that's usually a very attractive quality for. You know, for customers or for employers, um, and you know, it allows you to demonstrate a basic, you know, a, a certain level of skill. And then, third, the certification often enables access to additional resources. Like for example, we talked about the the scaled agile framework, and you know, getting a, you know, a certification with scaled agile gives you access to their material and allows you to train and deliver their courses. Without the certification you wouldn't be able to do that. You know, teaching to the test is always one of those kind of kind of challenges around a, a course, a, a, an accredited course, right? We want to make sure that the course is designed in a way that will allow the students to, to pass the certification exam if one's required. But we also want to make sure as a as one of Coveros's own internal goals that the course provides practical insight and practical uh, techniques that the, that they can take and look, take and go back to their to their jobs and actually and actually use so we try to we try to find that um, that balance right and you know one of the ways we do that is you know we'll often provide additional exercises you know, where, you know, where we can within a course uh, above and beyond the exercises that are specifically required by the syllabus. And we also encourage our instructors to uh, tell stories and provide, you know, additional real world examples of where they've applied those, the, you know, the techniques and the things that, that we're talking about in class. And all of our trainers and instructors are actual you know, technologists. We're actually out in the field doing the things we're, we're teaching the students about. So we always have a lot of really good stories and good examples. So that's a couple of ways we try to we try to do that. We try to provide you know a little bit more content beyond just you know teaching to the test. All right, Brian. So our time is almost up. But before you go, I just had one more question for you. How are you ensuring that those that take certification courses can continue their learning journey? What other ways can they continue to implement what they've learned, but also develop those skills? One of the things that Coveros training would, would we really believe 
is that certification provides that kind of important foundation for learning. You know, it gives you those industry standard uh, just topics and techniques and vocabulary to be able to to be able to to, to grow. But your growth really gets accelerated when you get hands-on experience. So one of the things we've developed is a lot of you know complementary training courses that combine some of the some additional lecture-based courses with you know, hands-on deep dive workshops to build on what you learn in the, in, the, in the foundational classes. And we organize those courses around what we call learning journeys. And these are based on you know, a target role or a career path. Uh, for example, we have a whole bunch of courses and journeys around testing. And you know, one of our journeys is agile testing. So if you're working in an agile organization and you want to understand how to apply testing techniques in, in an agile context, we start you off with a pair of training courses that give you sort of IC Agile certifications. There's an IC, IC Agile Agile Tester certification course and an IC Agile Agile Test Automation certification course. But then we augment that with additional training and workshops on, on test automation, specific tools, and on specific Agile testing techniques such as behavior-driven development. So we have a bunch of courses around that that give you that more deep dive into, into different Agile testing techniques. Similarly, the mobile application testing or the mobile tester journey starts with that ASTQB certified mobile tester course that we mentioned earlier, and it continues with some practical hands-on workshops. There's a couple of different workshops that actually give you tools, you know, using tools like Selenium and Appium to actually get hands-on experience testing mobile applications. Good to know. Well, thank you very much, Brian, for providing those details. I often find that students want to know what the next steps are after completing a course. So the mentioning of the learning journeys, I think um, it would be a good resource for them so that they can have those, those next steps. Thank you again for joining us. Thanks, Sam. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Let's do it again sometime. We'll do it again. Mm -hmm.